Hey hackers, today we're going to learn how to attack vulnerable web apps with Burp Sweep using SQL injection on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. So today we're going to attack vulnerable web apps using a SQL injection attack. Now, SQL injection attacks are pretty cool because they actually use the SQL syntax against itself in order to grab information from a database that we're not necessarily supposed to be able to see, at least for databases that are misconfigured. Most web applications these days are configured in a way that don't allow SQL injection, but there are still plenty out there that will. Um, but to do this, we're actually not going to need to write any SQL code. We're going to use Burp Sweep. Uh, Burp Suite is a great application that has all sorts of general pen testing um, applications. And although it is a paid product, everything we're going to need to do today um, can be done with the Community Edition. Also, if you want to learn more about uh, the specifics of this topic, go ahead and check out the link in the article description below. And also, you're going to need to be running um, Linux. I'm using Ubuntu. You can also be using Kali, or I think any other um, Linux distribution would work. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to test our SQL injection attack, we're going to be using Metasploitable. Metasploitable is an operating system that was designed to be hacked. And one of the services it offers is a server that um, is vulnerable to SQL injection. So let's go to our, I'm running Metasploitable in VirtualBox. Let's go to Metasploitable. I've logged in as MSF admin, which is the default account for Metasploitable. And I want to find the IP address of our server. So I'm just going to, of this machine. So I'm just going to type in ifconfig. And I'm going to look for the inet address. So I'm going to do pipe gret inet. And I'm, I want this IP address at the top, which is 192.168.1.63. So let's go to a Firefox browser. And then let's go to that IP address. All right, so you can see right here, this is the splash page for the Metasploitable server. Um, we're interested in this particular site, Mutiliday, and on it, uh, in the OWASP 10 section, there's injection and SQL extract data, user info, right here. So this is what you would find on many websites. It's a, a, a login portal, and this one is vulnerable to SQL injection. So this is kind of our test bed. So once we're here, we don't really need to do anything. Um, Mutiliday already has a um, host of other uh, accounts that have already been created that are in the database for the server. And all we need to do is um, attack it with Burp Sweep. So before we uh, load Burp Sweep, first what we want to do is we want to go into our Firefox settings. We're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to change the network settings. Now we're going to um, switch to manual proxy configuration. And for this video, we're going to do 127.0.1. I'm going to go on port 8080. Make sure this box is checked and no other thing is checked. Let's go ahead and press OK. All right, so now we're running through a proxy. Um, and let's start Burp, Burp Suite. OK, so Burp Suite, this is the community edition. There's a lot of features that are, that are disabled. But thankfully, SQL injection is still something that we can do with the uh, community edition. Let's start a temporary project, use the burp defaults, and then start. All right, so there's a lot going on right here. Uh, don't need to pay attention to any of this. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to proxy, and we see intercept is on. To, uh, to test this, let's go back to um, utility in Firefox, and let's type in um, username. I'm just going to go with password, press enter. All right. And now we can see Burp Sweep has captured all of the uh, the raw HTTP that's gone through here. So once we have this, the next thing we need to do is we need to send this to the intruder. What that lets us do, if we go over to the intruder tab, is we can go to positions and we can see the uh, the same information was sent here. This lets us edit the HTTP request. So let's um, first we need to clear everything. And what we're particularly interested in is we're in, interested in injecting SQL code in the username field. So we're gonna highlight the, after pressing clear, we're gonna highlight the what we entered in as the username. In this case, I kind of confusingly just entered username. And we're gonna click the add button with that highlighted. So that's where it's gonna inject our SQL code. 
All right, so we're actually almost done. The only thing we need to do now, since we aren't writing any of our own SQL code, we're using a list of basically um, SQL injection words or um, strings that someone else has created. I found this one on GitHub, and I also believe this is the default one that comes with uh, Kali Linux. I'm using Ubuntu, so obviously it's not designed for attacking, so it doesn't have that word list included, but I just uh, downloaded this. So go back to Burp Sweep. I'm going to load that list right here, open it, and you can see all of the strings are right here. And once we have all of those loaded, we just have to start the attack. As you can see, we're getting um, with each string, we're getting the status 200, which is which is good. That means OK. That means um, we successfully were able to fulfill the request. And we, when we look at all of these uh, strings that we've tried, we look at the response and we can go to the render tab and see um, basically what happened when we tried to enter in that one. For instance, this one's there's a failure. It basically says that the SQL syntax wasn't correct. But if we look at a different one, I know number 39 works because I've tested this, but uh, some of these some of these work and some of these don't work. That's why we have a full list of them. This one has an authentication error. All right, and if we go to number 39, we should, yeah, there we go. So we can see that this particular SQL string, what was it exactly? It was end quote or one equals one or double quote equals single quote. So. Uh, yeah, that particular SQL string, was, we were able to essentially display everything in the database. Um, so you can see all of these different um, usernames and passwords and their signatures. The entire beta database of the uh, login credentials is now ours. And uh, the reason this works is because of uh, SQL itself. So I, I, should, I typed a little example right here. So when we're entering a username and password into those fields on the web page, it makes a SQL query that's uh, usually structured something like this. Select username password from users where username equals my name, which is the username that you typed in, and password equals password my password, which is the password you typed in. Now, when we um, put something in the username field like end quote or one equals one dash dash, for instance, what we're doing is when the, the SQL query is run, where it, it asks where username equals, it basically says blank right here, or one equals one, which always evaluates to true. And then these double hyphens will negate anything after them. So the and password is irrelevant. So basically, um, since one, one equals one evaluates to true, it's going to select every single entry in the database and display it for us. So yeah, that's just a little insight into what's actually going on. But you don't even need to know that with uh, Burp Sweep and with the SQL injection word list, we are able to totally um, see the entire database. So yeah, there you go. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out our website where we have hundreds of free articles and videos, as well as premium paid content like the Ethical Hacking Certification Bundle, which features pen testing with OWASP Zap, WordPress hacking and hardening, and the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Prep Course. Check out the link in the description below. All right, guys, so that was pretty cool. You saw we were able to grab the uh, all of the credentials, all the usernames and passwords from this web apps database, including some administration credentials, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you want to go more in depth with this, you should probably learn some SQL yourself. That way you can customize your tax and grab exactly what you want from the databases. Um, unfortunately, in the real world, uh, any big uh, company or large enterprise um, is not going to be vulnerable to this kind of attack because there are specific coding practices that um, make databases basically impervious to SQL injection. But there are plenty of small websites out there that uh, you know anyone these days can set up a web server with a database behind it. And unless they're using those very specific coding practices, they um, will be vulnerable to SQL injection. So they put are potential targets. Although, of course, I do not condone attacking any websites that are not your own. Um, if you want to learn more about SQL injection and about Burp Sweep, go ahead and check out the link to the article in this video's description, as well as the multiple other articles we have on Nullbyte about this topic. So, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter at Tim51092. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video, and have a good day. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye.